it's time to take a look at stories making the headlines in Nigerian, uh, in new Nigerian newspapers. And uh, with me in the studio is in-house analyst Obani Akinwali. And joining us uh, via Skype is Uluri Janet Mbafolabi, a publisher of Scope Magazine. She joins us as well. Good morning. Uh, thank you for joining us. Good morning, Veronica. Good, good to see you. Good to see you as well. Mm -hmm. Hey, good morning. Good Thank mo you for joining Good morning. Us. Nice being here. All right, let's head straight to the papers now. And I begin with the blueprint. 60th Comfab fallout, NBA in tatters. Nigeria Bar Association, a new Nigeria Bar Association emerges, writes Malami. And Egbe uh, Amofi, Mall's Southwest Body 2. We'll be looking at that story shortly. And then we'll move to the front page of uh, the Daily Trust. Uh, foreigners manipulating floor market in Nigeria. Farmers decry exploitation, price hike. Wheat importation threatens local production. Bakers on strike in Bornu. Price increase in Kano, Abuja. will address the issue Consumers Commission. All right, let's quickly move to the front page of the Daily Times. Now flights to begin immediately at Enugu Airport, says... Sirica. To the front page of the national economy, CBN moves to check banks' insolvency, reels out new measures for lending. And on the front page of uh, the News Direct, alleged uh, 5.47 billion Naira COVID scandal, uh, ICPC quizzes, and DDC directors, other officials. And finally, on the front page of the leadership newspaper, National Assembly, Northern Elders disagree over constitution review. Channel funds into tackling insecurity, poverty. Uh, that's uh, the Northern Elders uh, Forum uh, speaking there. And then amendment, a continuous process. Lawmakers are also speaking. But we will be looking at the story on the front page of uh, the blueprint, uh, talking about uh, the fallout from uh, the just concluded uh, NBA CONFAB 60th, uh, there was a fallout, the 60th uh, CONFAB. Uh, and it seems that uh, there is a new Nigeria Bar Association emerging. I I'll start with you, uh, Janet. You have been following developments with regards to uh, the Nigeria Bar Association. And uh, this, you would recall, uh, started when the association disinvited uh, the uh, Grandula State governor. And that has generated some reactions and controversy over time. But did you ever think that it would degenerate to this point? All right, uh, I hear Janet uh, will join us uh, as soon as she can. But then let me throw that question to you, Nii. You have been following the developments. Did you ever see the things are uh, degenerating to this point. A new Nigeria Bar Association has emerged and it has written to uh, Malami. If you recall vividly about uh, a year ago, myself and uh, Dr. Ikere were here. And I said two unions are the major problem of this country. Then I mentioned ASU because of the crop of graduate we are churning out. And I said MBA simply because Lawyers have the power to approbate and reprobate. They are the ones that will come and tell you that uh, until proven by law, somebody that shot somebody dead is not supposed to be committed to, uh, to either to, to death or whatever. Now, uh, if you look at the level of litigations we are having from the councillorship election to governorship election to national assembly even to the presidency, lawyers are quick to tell whoever is not contented to go to court. Mm. And lawyers are quick to say everything was tested by law. But from 2016 to 2018 till date, all the elections conducted by the Nigerian Bar Association as a mark with irregularities. And what you, keep every, what you keep hearing from them is that no system is perfect. We'll keep on improving on it. And when electorates go to vote and there is issue, they will be telling aspirants or candidates that check the server, use the electoral law. Go and, disc do, go, and attend, go and check. But in their own case, they won't allow the or jurisdiction to be better. But these so, are people who are expected to be learned, as they call themselves. Supposedly, supposedly supposed to be learned. But you find it now that the, the MBA or the, the inner caucus even believe that the election is marked with irregularity. Mm. But they are saying 
they are going to find a way of improving on the process. But the same lawyer will tell each candidate after any election that they feel that they are grieved to go and ventilate the law. But in their own case, they said no ventilation. So it is not surprising. The, the Nigerian Bar Association is a reflection of the Nigerian system. And I, said, and I said it again that if care is not taken, Nigerian Bar Association is a tip of iceberg. If you could collect what, what, a news came out yesterday that uh, uh, TUC were having a meeting at the NLC building yesterday and some mood love attacked them at Tobi Akpo, local government. You can imagine what Ghana is doing to Nigeria at the moment. So it's a reflection of our society. So an NBA who's supposed to help us to uphold, interpret, or go to get justice for people, having injustice within their system. So how do you go out there when you have acknowledged that since 2016, 2018, 2020, your system is marked with regularity, the online voting is not secure, there is manipulation online, people are not accredited, wrong code are being sent, and yet... You are the same people that will go on behalf of candidates of political parties to court. You are the same people that will draft the constitution. You are the people that will show us the loopholes in our constitutional provisions or certain uh, laws. Yet, a common election of less than 30,000 people, Nigeria Abashia cannot conduct it. So uh, you ask yourself, so where are we going? So why do we call it a bar? It is not a bar. It is over the bar now. So, and you can see what NNN is doing. I'm office also said they are going to split. It is so unfortunate that Nigerian Association, which we look up to to help us mm. uh, get justice when there is injustice, are now the domiciling or instituting injustice in the association. All right, let's 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 get uh, Janet Mbafalabi's uh, uh, perspective to this. Now, you would recall the president uh, looking into uh, some sort of reforms for the judiciary. With developments like this, uh, I wonder what you make. Would that really be feasible at the end of the day? Veronica, I think um, the elections, the NBA election is not a common election. It is a serious election because these are bodies of uh, lawyers. They're supposed to be learned. They're supposed to be interpreting the laws. So the problem boils down to openness and transparency. Where there is lack of openness, where there is lack of transparency, where there are deep vested interests, when some candidates are not generally accepted by the, 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 the by many of the people and there are manipulations, alleged manipulations, this is always what will happen. At the end of the day, they are Nigerians, they are human beings, they have their interests and, and they want to protect their interests. So it is not very surprising that this is happening in a Nigerian Bar Association because they are lawyers, they have different interests, they have different people they are defending and they have their own, each person, each candidate has his agenda. His agenda may not be the agenda of Nigeria Bar Association. So if they split into one million pieces, it is because of their various divested interests. But then uh, where does this leave uh, the interest of the common man? Because these are the people who are supposed to be the, some sort of uh, the last arbiter, the last hope of the common man. If we are seeing issues like this, what kind of confidence can the common man repose on them to find justice? It will erode the, the confidence of the common man, apparently, because the people you look up to for hope, the people you look up to for help, at least judicial help, justice, and they are now behaving like this. So you feel that there is no hope for the common man. You don't even know where to go to anymore. Is it the police you want to go to, or is it the judiciary? So you, you, the common man may not really have a hope anymore. Wow. That's a, a, a tough one. I wonder, a tough pill to swallow, uh, Obani, bringing it back to the studio. Uh, the, hope, the common man may not have hope uh, anymore. After all, that's what uh, Janet is saying, because with the look of things, uh, Olumide Akpata, that is the newly sworn in president of the association, uh, seems to have his work cut out for him, uh, because it is not just about the election. We also had the incident where the invitation of uh, the Gaduna State Governor also you know, caused some sort of uh, rift between uh, the, the members of the Bar Association, and that is also seeming to be another issue here. Mm -hmm. If you were to be Olumide Akpata, I wonder how do you, would you want to address things at this point. Uh, first of all, uh, let me say, on Easy Lies here that wears the crown, and that's the case of Mr. Olumide Akwata, the current bar president. 
Uh, first of all, when he was sworn in a few days ago, he has set in a committee to do an audit of election in 2016, 2018, and 2020, which clearly shows that the BMB, the bar understand that they have scored on goal. Now, I think another thing they need to look into is that the issue of using ethnicity and religion in associations. You could imagine having Muslim Lawyer Association of Nigeria, Christian Lawyer Association of Nigeria. I, I, don't, I don't know whether there is a Christian law school or Muslim law school. I don't know whether in the, in the, in the university when you are studying common law, property law, there is proper Muslim property law, Christian property law. So these are things that we need to look at holistically and begin to point out ourselves of ethnicity and also, uh, 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 also religious bias. Again, uh, the NBA itself, I'm saying they, they are the ones that cook this problem for themselves because you mm -hmm. find out that there's a rotational policy, the Eastern Bar, the Egwe of the South, South Southwest, the Doan Delta, you have the Northern Bar. So situation whereby you begin to rotate among those bars, and you have also created that 40 line in terms of region, in terms of religion. So they need to find a common ground to ensure that we don't begin to have Nigerian Labour Congress, Yoruba, Nigerian Labour Congress, Igbo, Nigerian Labour Congress, Ausa, Nigerian Labour. So if you begin to remove all these 40 lines that we used to, you can see what's happening National Assembly. You have North East Development Commission, you have North uh, no, uh, South, South, um, Nigeria has Development Commission, North South West is asking for Development Commission, and if we know that we want to go back to regionalization, let us go back in full force, rather than separating ourselves along these 40 lines. And again, is that time the likes of Oliza Bakoba, Mr. Femi Falano, uh, uh, Alege, and what have you to come and ensure that the bar they all fought for. These are a crop of people that stood against the military junta, that stood against Abangida, against Abacha. And now the same bar is not, is not only scoring on goal, they are now over the bar. So it is obvious mm. that Mr. Olumide needs to look at the, 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 the ethnic coloration and religious coloration given to the bar. The bar is supposed to meant for professional lawyers. Neither you are a Christian or a Muslim. Very soon you will see it's a, it's a, uh, it's a, it's a lawyer association of Nigeria, which is traditionally for traditionally. So we need to remove ethnicity and we need to remove religion from any association. And as much as they want to rotate along the region, they need to be careful because Nigerian is very along 40 regions: the east, the west, the north. And if care is not taken, if the Nigerian, uh, the current uh, IGF recognizes new bar, and again, consider also to play that. People have freedom of association. Absolutely. And it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a registered uh, uh, institution at the Nigerian uh, Corporate Affairs Commission. So, which means I can today say, okay, uh, 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 people that would know law but would not go to law school, we can also form our own bar. Okay, like uh, we have bar behind our office that we put drink. So, <laughs> we can also call it TVC Bar Association. So, it is also obvious that we institutionalize institutions, we don't make it regional, we don't make it religious, and again, NBA, NBA has scored on goal. They have scored over the bar. I wish the, the current president would look inward and see how to ensure that this 40 line will be breached. Otherwise, the case of NLC where you have NLC, TUC, ULC, and they have messed up the old labor union and the country is the way it is, will soon happen at the NBA. And again, nobody will speak for the people. All right, uh, let's get your, your view on this uh, issue now. Talking about uh, removing all the fault lines, how challenging do you see that going to be uh, for the president uh, of the Bar Association? Janet? Okay, Veronica, it's not supposed to be challenging for him if he has the interest of the Bar at heart, if he has the interest of Nigerians at heart, if they want to really practice the law that they study, if they want to live above ethnicity, tribalism, and religious sentiment. He should try to bring everybody together. It is not where there is a will, there is always a way. So it cannot be a challenge for him to unite everyone and move the bar forward. In fact, it to be to his advantage to say that the bar did not, uh, did not uh, divide under his own tenor. I want to see him bring everyone together and make everyone happy and move the bar forward and not turn it into, because it's a serious organization. Mm. The Nigerian Bar Association mm. is a group of lawyers and they are the learned people. They are the ones that interpret the law. Uh, uh, it is true that there is freedom of our association, but uh, the right to freedom of our association is not absolute. No right is all right, Janet, they're trying to tell us that uh, no right uh, is absolute in itself. But your final thoughts uh, on this, uh, Obani, um, if nothing is done to address this quickly, what would be the future of the Bar Association? Uh, 
I've said it, either we like it or not. We have the technology, but we are not ripe for that technology. When Nigeria was operating option, uh, option A4, people were saying it's analog. But option A4 gives us less of this trouble. When the buyer were voting manually, they don't have this. But from 2016, the employee electronic voting has not been working. And the, the, the decision of whereby when somebody wins and you have uh, breaking the jinx of uh, inner caucus winning, then having people to, to be regionally based in terms of... Well, we are all saying uh, the professional organization should not be region driven. Should be driven by competency. Yes, we could allow for rotation and what have you. But religion, ethnicity should not come to play when it comes to an organization like Nigeria Bar Association. And again, we should know that Bar Association is not an institution. It's an, all of us in this studio can form a TV association and register with a CAC. And it becomes an association. Mm. So they have right, but notwithstanding, I'm imploring the, pres the president of the Bar to look inward and ensure that justice is done. And right. if political parties have mayors of solving their problem, look at what happened in the Edo. Uh, Obaseki crossed over to PDP in no time. They settled the rift, the rift to people there. Look at what happened to Pastor Zayam. Look at what happened in the uh, APC in uh, Ondo State. They settled their rift when Akredolu became, everybody come together. So and it should Bar be easy for them After too. weeks, they are unable to find the solution mechanism. With all the great lawyers we have in this country, it's all a right. shame to the bar. All right, finally, Janet, your final words before we move. I want to see the Nigeria Bar Association very strong and united. Let's take a look at stories making headlines in Nigerian newspapers today. With me in the studio is our analyst, uh, Obani Akinwali. Good morning. Nice to see you. Good morning. Great. And uh, we have uh, joining us on Skype, Lori Janet, Janet Mba Falabi, uh, public, uh, 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 publisher, Scroll Magazine. Uh, she joins us now as well. Janet, it's good to have you join us this morning as well. Good morning, Mike. Great. How are you? Great. All right, let's begin with the uh, Blueprint newspaper. And it says, 60th Confab Fallout, MBA in Tatas. New Nigeria Bar Association emerges, writes Malami. Egbe Amofi Mall's uh, Southwest Body 2. Okay, that's uh, what's on the front page of the Blueprint. Now, let's go to leadership newspaper. Leadership says, National Assembly Northern Elders disagree over constitutional review. Leadership newspaper, exactly. Uh, National Assembly Northern Elders disagree over constitutional review. Channel funds into tackling insecurity poverty. That's the, uh, NEF is saying that, that's the Northern Elders uh, Forum. Ad uh, amendment, a continuous process. Lawmakers are saying this, okay. I guess my guests would like to talk about this as we get along. Now, let's go to Daily Trust. Daily Trust newspaper says, a foreigner's manipulating flower market in Nigeria. Uh, farmers decry exploitation, price hike, uh, wheat importation threatens local production, and bakers on strike in Borno, a price increase in Kano and Abuja. And we'll address the issue. Consumers Commission is saying this. Okay, all that on the front page of the Daily Trust. Daily Times is next now. Flights to begin immediately at the Enugu airport, says uh, Sirika as a minister of, uh, of uh, aviation. As Daily Times. National economy is next right now. CBN moves to check banks' insolvency. Reels out new measures for lending. Okay, that's the national economy. The, the last one we're looking at now is alleged, is the News Direct. News Direct says alleged <coughs> 5.47 billion naira COVID-19 scandal. ICPC quizzes uh, NDDC directors, other officials. Okay, uh, that's the News Direct. Okay, uh, Ni, let, let me come to, let's get to the, the issue on the front page of the leadership newspaper. Okay, let me start with Janet here. Uh, this is ladies first, so let me start with Janet. Leadership newspaper says National Assembly Northern Elders disagree over constitutional review. Now, uh, Janet, you, you recall that Nigerians have been calling on government to review the constitution, update the constitution one way or the other. Uh, the, the issue of restructuring is basically around these issues. And now the National Assembly, you also recall that National Assembly, uh, through the Deputy Senate President, uh, called for a memorandum, a uh, memoranda generally for, uh, uh, for, for constitutional review. But this is generating controversy now. What do you make of this? Mike is generating controversy because of the amount involved 
in this initiative. The, the Northern Elders Forum see it as a repetitive initiative that one billion naira will be spent to review the constitution. And they're looking at the amount and they are saying this amount should be diverted to the fight of insecurity and poverty in the North. That is the way they view it. But the, the, the National Assembly are saying there are lots of lapses in the constitution and that we need to make our law book better. So this is what they need to do. That it is not their business to, to devote money to fight insecurity. But this money will come from the federal government all the same. It does not matter whether it's coming from a, a National Assembly. The one billion they are requesting for to do this review of the constitution will still come from the pocket of the federal government. And so the, the, the amount for me, I think, is much. If you need to review the constitution, then we should bring that amount down. There is no doubt that we need to review the constitution because of the lapses. There are lapses in security. There are lapses in election. And then this restructuring that everyone, uh, most people have been talking about. It is a good idea. It is an ongoing idea. But it's about priority. What is the most important thing now? What do we need to do? Review the constitution is good, but the amount is much. Fighting insecurity and poverty in the North is also a good idea because they know what's really happening there. The Northern elders feel it. They are there. They feel the heat. And the pain is in their own leg because they are the ones wearing the shoes. So I, I, I think I agree with them that the money should go into fighting insecurity. But if the review of the constitution must go on, let the National Assembly bring down the money. It's too much. Okay. <laughs> All right, uh, Abadi. The, the point there is, when it comes to the review of the Constitution, of course, the National Assembly is uh, the body that is constitutionally uh, responsible or obligated to review the Constitution as needed from time to time. And this is what the Niger not, what Nigerians have been calling, up, calling for all the while. But the point there is, a lot of people say the challenges we have in Nigeria today emanate from the constitution because the constitution is 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 not giving room to where room should be given and all of that what do you make <clears throat> i begin to my, ask myself certain questions when i read the headline that what constitutes an elder and what forms call it yoruba council of elders call it northern uh, elders forum call it uh, or indigo or afenifer uh, group or whatever uh, I'm not sure whether by age the current Senate president is not a northern elder. <coughs> I begin to ask myself whether the current president, Muhammad Buhari, is not a northern elder. I ask myself whether when the Secretary General of Northern Elders Forum, when the Secretary, uh, Dr. Amid, was not part of the Constitutional Committee of 2014. Mm -hmm. So you ask yourself, why are we agitating for community police? Why are we asking for devolution of power? Why are we saying that we people of Nigeria has never sat at any point in time to determine what works for us? Why are we saying that if alcohol is prohibited in certain parts of the country and yet the alcohol tax is shared to that part of the country? Why are we saying that the tax have been, uh, have been marginalized? Why do we need to form Northeast Development Commission? Why do we need to form Southwest Development Commission? Why do we need to have North Central Development Commission as it were? So all this issue boils down to a faulty constitution. And a constitution, our constitution is a working document. You recall vividly one of the videos that was in the past, Kama. Mm. What did the vice president said? He said, the church can ventilate their grievances through the National Assembly. So the reason why we have National Assembly there is not to go and do a caricature, but to go and do party or dine, but to make the law. Then you ask yourself, they are saying one billion is too much to do constitutional review. I was wondering where the Northern Ida forums were when the National Assembly were buying SUV jeeps. Is it not more than one billion? So if one billion will allow us to entrench amotechnics of this world, will allow us to entrench civil agencies of this world, will allow us to budget right amounts for security, will allow us to ensure that extra charges placed on Nigeria, call it uh, pay TV, call it phone calls, call it bank charges, have been properly done. I don't think a billion is too much to do that. And if you look at it in Naira and Kobo, how much is a billion in compared to dollars? So if that money is going to allow us to ensure that either we have a dirty float or we have free flow in terms of our dollar market, I think it has to be done. The priority is that one billion should be judiciously spent to affect the life of Nigerians. We're talking about poverty. How do we regulate poverty where somebody said she has fed about, uh, she fed about a, a million Nigerians during COVID through Wi-Fi? Consumers need to make provision in such a way that 
the local government is empowered, the state government is empowered, the federal government is empowered, the power is not going to be at the center. Fashion doesn't need to come to Ikorodu to come and do the road. Mm. It should be done by the chairman of the local government. Governor Yotola doesn't need to bother himself waiting for federal government to determine how to process his gold in Oshu State. He should be able to do that. The guy in Bayesa should be able to say, oh, you are mining oil from my area, give me the reality down there. Let us sit down and see how it works. And we already have all these things. If you look back at uh, Constitutional Review of 1979, you look at the conference of 2014. These are things that Nigerians have said they want. The Pronaco Conference also said the same thing. So why Nigeria is not working? Because our constitutional framework is 40. So to say one billion is too much, and we ask ourselves, somebody is spending one, uh, one billion on COVID palliative for himself, the, the hell does not let loose. If the National Assembly is going to get it right this time and put proper uh, constitution in place, proper law to ensure the life of Nigeria is better, to ensure that because COVID has happened, the airport does not double the fee, let us do it. No. Let us do it rightly. But to say one billion is too much, it is not true. And if you look at the story very well, the headline captures another headline forum. The Southwest supports the constitutional review, the National Assembly should sit. The, the North Central supported the same thing. Or our next ending will support the same thing. National Assembly are representative of people. And again, the Senate president happens to be from the North. The leader of the Senate happens to be from the North. And the vice president, the, the vice, uh, the chairman of the Constitutional Review Committee, who happens to be the Senate president, is from the South South. So if one and nine members agree that we need to do this thing and people want us to do this thing, mm. I wonder what, who are the elders. When Buhari is not talking, Buhari is an elder. When Senate president is not talking, he's an elder. Yeah, the Senate but, but the point, but, yeah, but the point there is, it, these are all concerned Nigerians one way or the other, who wield some level of influence from where they come from. Absolutely. So when they speak, sometimes mm -hmm. it's, a, it's a collection of what people... You, 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 are you saying it is wrong for the man from Benue, for example, the governor Tom have said, I don't want Ruga. Mm. Are you saying federal government is saying, for example, now that they want to do national water resource bill, people saying it is wrong. You are not providing water for me, yet I want to sing ball, you want me to be licensed. We need to sit down and talk about it. These are law issues. So how do we do it? You may say, no, oh, let us leave it. It doesn't matter. By the time you look at the number of boroughs in Lagos license, they are going to be using to tax to pay people that doesn't have borrow, or you are going to go to Bayesa, where people are struggling to get, more, to get water, mm. to ask them to be taxed for well, water you do not provide. All right. These are constitutional issues that uh, need to be settled at the, at the National Assembly floor. All right, J Janet, what scenario do you see going forward here? Because uh, sometimes when, when statements like this come, it tells you, it gives you a picture of, of something bigger that's going to come. Yes, I think they may still be dragging it back and forth. Depends on um, who is going to release the money for them. Uh, One billion naira is what we are not talking about dollars. We are talking about naira. We are operating in naira. Naira is our currency in Nigeria. So uh, the National Assembly has to come out and show us the breakdown of the one billion naira they want to spend. If you are spending one billion naira, those, you don't just come out to say one billion naira and then it is given to you. You have to break it down blow by blow, step by step, information for information of what you need to do. And then what is the guarantee that this time around that they will get it right? It is a probability. I am not against constitutional review, of course, because there are lots of lapses. People have been calling for it. So if they are going to do it, they should do it well and get it right. So okay. the amount okay. of money we are talking about here for the common Nigerian... Oh. All right. <laughs> well, she, she dropped her voice before uh, we had hitches there. Thank you very much, Janet Afala Bimba, for your time on the program. And uh, Ni, thank you so much for your time as well. I, I see you have the cap from uh, Benue. I'm from your village. I, I, and <laughs> I, I think we need to give you a chief dancing title there. I'm waiting you, for you that. Become the That's why we need the <laughs> review, so that I'll be able to go to Benue. <laughs> I guess I'll give you Zegumolo Kasi. That's fantastic. <laughs> I'm ready for it. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much for My coming player. on the program.